Good day, everyone, wherever you are joining us from. We have just watched a beautiful film, you know, about friendship. And I am joined here by Constance Mayer, who is going to tell us more about this film. Constance, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for this film. I suppose the first question, this is your debut um, uh, feature film. Do you wanna just tell me about the, like the process of getting here? Yeah, uh, so it's a bit particular because I, um, I was writing something completely different. I was writing a, a thriller about, um, you know, a, a really dark, dark thriller. And, uh, and suddenly I got really sick of it. <laughs> and I thought I would tell something more luminous and, you know, uh, I, I felt like I needed to, to tell a story that was more simple uh, between two characters. And, um, and so I wrote this uh, script quite quickly, like in four months. Uh, and it's a little bit inspired by, um, my meeting with uh, Gérard Depardieu when I was uh, younger, 15 years ago. Uh, I worked in theater and uh, I met him as an, I was an assistant to a director, a stage director, and he played in the, in the play. And um, I was really struck by this really monstrous, you know, very contradictory man. Um, and in a way, the character of Aisa is, in a way, a fantasized, uh, a fantasized sort of me uh, in front of him, uh, you know, because I had to work with him and I had to make him rehearse his lines like she does in the film. Of course, I am not a wrestler and I'm not um, a security agent, but there's a sort of, you know, fiction that has met my reality in a way in this film uh, so that's how like the inspiration kind of is a mix of what I uh, lived and what and it took years to just become a script like suddenly I had the urge to write this story and of course it has completely um, taken off from my experience it became a real fiction and um, I was extremely inspired by uh, Deborah Lukumwena uh, as an actress. She, she, I, I was really obsessed with her, and I really wrote for her. Um, I kept, you know, listening to to some interviews of her, and she was really in my mind. And I really, I, I don't know, I was, I, I really wrote this film for her and the Bardieu. It was the basis of of the of the scenario of the script. Wow, it's interesting that you speak about Deborah because she brings the film to life. Um, and I'm wondering, I should know she's an emerging um, actor. Um, where did you meet her? And I mean, it's interesting that you're saying you wrote the film for her, um, but how did, when did you decide that this is the, the actress that you wanted to work with? Um, I saw her in a film that had quite a lot of success called Divine and it was her first film and she was not an actress before she she just you know did this um, audition and got the role got the part and um, and I was really really charmed and very attracted you know to her as an actress and like her voice and her physicality and everything about her really inspired me. And then I, I, um, I saw her, like I was really doing some research about her. And then I saw her in another film that she acted in, but she, I think she didn't, she had only done two uh, films before acting in mine, something like that. Um, so yeah, that it was a very simple, access to her I, I just saw that film I thought she was mesmerizing and um, and I always write for actors so it's it was not a new process for me I always think about my actors before it's it's a kind of a luxury because if they if, if they don't say yes then I'm I'm stuck you know <laughs> I don't know but uh, this time it worked so I'm really it was I was really grateful.
Um, and the film touches on quite like a lot of themes around friendship, loneliness. Um, and our festival this year, uh, the European Film Festival in South Africa is about healing and about um, women taking the lead or um, what would you, having worked, you being the director and, and Deborah, like what are the other themes that you wanted to, so I suppose, use the performances in the film to sort of like deal with issues around healing and friendship and loneliness and growing up? Mm. You mean what are what other themes I explored in the film? Yes. Um, I think it's also, so it's a film that follows two, two trajectories in a way, but they meet and they, and they help each other and they kind of save each other in a in a way uh but it's also a film about um body and 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 um physicality and like how do you live with the body that you have and in a way um in a way it questions also like the norms that that we see i don't know about south africa but in france it's a very normative um, world, like the movie biz business, and you can, it's starting to change a little bit, but you see always the same type of people. And I had this desire to, it was just a very personal desire to have those two, you know, robust people facing each other, but not, not redu reducing them to this, you know, just how do you how do you make your body so powerful also and so um uh how do you live with it you know it, i don't really know how to explain it in a nice way i don't think <laughs> i'm fluent enough but um that's one of the themes and um yeah i think that's the main thing that drove me to write for them and then i really wanted because i'm obsessed with encounters and um, all the short films that I made are about uh, uh, two people meeting. So I continue to explore that. And um, yeah, that's the... Yeah, it's interesting that you talk about, about power because I think both the, your characters have different kind of powers that they exercise and and it's so beautiful the fact that you know you talk about even the, the body image, but it was so subtle and um, and so sophisticated the way you dealt with it. Um, and I noticed that the other thing that you used is, um, is more choral music a cappella, um, which was very, you know, soothing. I don't know if you want to speak about your choice and in, in the type of music you decided to use. Yeah, actually, um, the musician I worked with, uh, first, we, we went really wild. We were like, oh, we're going to have some brass bands and tuba because I was really into like robust uh, instruments of music and stuff like that. And then we narrowed it down. And finally, I was uh, I was like, I think I want something completely pure. And um, and I want something that goes because, of course, it's a film that doesn't have like dramatic changes and stuff like that. So it's a very quite intimate uh um you know progression and um uh, i thought the voice could really accompany that um uh, that progression that slight progression of the the two characters um first we had a a um, singer from cameroon they at first we didn't use it but she was um singing a lullaby at the beginning of the film and it was opening the film and for a really long time i kept this as the opening uh, song it was a cappella but then it felt a bit too um, too like forced you know and so I, I widened a little bit and we used a cappella um, singers but we also transformed it with a uh, computer stuff when there are the fish you know uh, the abyss fish like the the voices are are like how do you say torn in a in a digital way, you know, but we played on different treatment of the voices. 
And tell me about the, I mean, I found the, the you know, talking about the music and that scene of the fish and what is what is what we consider to be beauty and 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 um what was what was the thought process behind that and what did you want it to represent um it's a very simple thought it's just that and it's also a reflection about art in general i think or in movies is is just that beauty can be in very very small details and doesn't have to be perfect like it's it's about imperfection being beautiful um so of course it's about the fish but it's about everything and it's not only physical it's also like your imperfection makes you this a special person so that's why people love you and i mean it's a very generic thing i'm saying but <laughs> i think that's the kind of thoughts that guided the whole you know fish thing <laughs> Yeah, no, it was beautiful. And I think there was another, I, I don't know, for me, the scene where, um, you know, um, Issa is in a restaurant and and George comes in, it like, it had so much subtext in terms of where the, the point in which their, their friendship, you know, this unlikely kind of friendship had reached. Um, I don't know if you want to just talk a little bit about that, because I thought it almost embodied um, a lot of the elements in the, that you were trying to put across in the film. What, what scene are you referring to? Sorry, I didn't get it. Oh, the one where um, Gerald, uh, with um, Issa is in a is in is in a dinner date, and Gerald oh, comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That that scene was really like the the scene that I was aiming for during the whole shoot uh, mm -hmm. because it really embodied like all both uh, uh, Georges, the character of De Bardieu, it was both like how, um, you know, unpleasant he can be and how, you know, drunk and, and terrible and just, you know, brutal and everything, but also how all these terrible, uh, you know, characteristics also made him uh, like, his contradiction is that through that he's also showing her how she has value she has more value and she has to fight for her you know own self-respect and also it tells about his fear to be alone of course he doesn't want to be alone so he comes in this restaurant but there is also this message that he's he's teaching in a way her to to just go for someone who really wants to be with her um so and and in her in her point of view, there's also a sort of switch, like suddenly his his uh, lines resonate and she just, you know, she's, she's hurt, but she's also like liberated in a way. Yeah, thank you. I think on that note, um, we are almost out of time. I don't know, is there anything else that you just wanted to add? Thank you so much for sharing your film with us. Thank you so much for selecting it. I'm really happy that it has an audience uh, in South Africa. It's a real honor. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, look out for the rest of the films in the festival. And thank you so much. Uh, this film um, by Constance will be part of the festival. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.